Okay, so if you're using white potato, what you can do is you can test it when you're, you're next uh, cooking. When you slice the white potato, you know the one with the yellow skin, if you soak it in water, you'll see that the water turns cloudy. That's all the starch in the, in the potato. Well, if you test it with this sort of potato, there's hardly any starch. However, still that actually, when I, after I slice it, I actually just washed it in a bit of water just to clean it and that, that's it. Katrina, as always, you never fail to deliver. Thank you. <laughs> So healthy, mm. crunchy as well. Okay, love it. You can have it for your breakfast, lunch, or or dinner. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. And the carrots, the carrots underneath just adds a nice bite to it as well. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Salam Britain. We had a fantastic conversation today with Kareem, our guest, and now it's time for cooking with Chef Katrina. Hello, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. A Spanish omelette or tortilla esp española. I don't think I said it right. Española is a classic dish made from simple ingredients such as eggs, potatoes, and onions. It can be served hot or cold, and it's delicious. It's a delicious, hearty meal, per perfect for any time of the day. So, Katrina, how are you? I'm good. So, how I got introduced to this dish is many years ago when I came over to the UK, I had a Spanish friend, mm -hmm. and she made this omelette for me. I totally forgot about it, and I've not eaten it since, and I thought, well, let's try it today. Awesome, can't okay. wait. So the typical Spanish omelette is made from potato, eggs, and onion. That's the main three ingredients, so obviously sea salt if you want to. However, normally they use the white potato, which is not very good, it's very starchy. So today I'm actually going to use this, this thing called uh, Pontiac potato, it's a, a red skin potato, it's totally less starchy. And to make it cook quickly, I've actually cut it. I've used about three of these uh, size, like these three sizes, in, and I've just chopped it really, really fine like that. So it just cooks quicker. However, if you've got more time in the kitchen, then you can slice it really thin and not really have to dice it. So I'm gonna warm up the, I've actually warm up the pan, and I'm just gonna put a bit of olive oil, and first to cook the potatoes first. Would sweet potatoes be an alternative, or you wouldn't use sweet potatoes? Yes, you can as well, definitely you can. It's like an in-between, so yes. that one's sort of in-between the sweet potato and the... Um, yeah, and, and obviously, as you know, I, I've mentioned in my previous uh, shows before that the skin of potato, you should eat it as well. Okay. Okay, so if you're using white potato, what you can do is you can test it when you're, you're next uh, cooking. When you slice the white potato, you know the one with the yellow skin, if you soak it in water, you'll see that the water turns cloudy. That's all the starch in the, in the potato. Well, if you test it with this sort of potato, there's hardly any starch. However, still that actually, when I, after I slice it, I actually just washed it in a bit of water just to clean it and that, that's it. So what I'm going to do is also, instead of using the normal white onion, I've used my shallots here. And I'm also going to add a bit of garlic, two cloves of garlic, just give it more flavor. We've got uh, paprika and turmeric and a bit of cumin seeds and, and coriander seeds as well in, in this mixture, which I'm going to use the season and then there's, I've got three eggs here I'm actually going to do it twice because the pan if you do it with six eggs at a time it gets too thick and it's quite difficult to actually flip it over so and I'm gonna also garnish it with uh, spring onions spring onions finely chopped and I've got a bit of celery leaves from my garden so I'll just add that in to garnish and mint as well mint which is just gonna add as, as a um, garnish and you can eat it with salad or rice or any, any other dishes really so I'm just gonna, the, the pan is hot now, so I'm just gonna pour in the potatoes and get it all cooked. This will cook in probably about three minutes or so, because it's finely diced. However, if you're cutting it like lengthwise and it's still fine, then it may take a bit of longer. So that's all the potatoes done. Just gonna give it a bit of stir. And I'm also going to add the seasoning as well. So it's paprika, turmeric, a bit of coriander seeds, and a bit of cumin seeds as well. This obviously is optional, it's totally I just, I just like to add some 
some spices into the dish as well. So you just let that cook slightly there. See the bone. And then while we're waiting, I'm just gonna cut up the rest of the shallots. Shallots again, slice it fairly fine so that it's all all combined later properly into the omelette itself. Going back to the potatoes, do you scrub them at all? Or that, that yes, I do, yeah, scrub them. Okay. And I'll see if there's a bit of like, you know, a bit, bit of like growth in it, I'll, I'll cut those off. But uh, the rest, like you can see in this potato, it's fairly clean. It's like got no, really no blemishes and all that. So you can actually eat it all as it is. Okay. So this is a dish you can actually prepare in advance. It, it will come out like, you know, like a, similar like to pizza without being the flour and it's quite nice for you know people of all ages to actually eat it as well you can eat it warm uh, you can after cooking it you can perhaps maybe keep it warm in the oven or something like that and then just uh, serve it warm or serve it cold as well it's very nice so the shallots like I said just dice it really fine as well and I'm just gonna do the same with the garlic it, it's very important to actually add like shallots and garlic or onions into your cuisine every day if you can. Because it keeps you health healthy as well. Okay, so the shallots and garlic are almost Are shallots chopped. healthier than, than onions or is it just a they, they, they have They have different benefits. Obviously, the onion depends on the onion. The onion, the ones which I would recommend is the red onion rather than the whitish onion. Ba basically, the rule is that the darker the colours are, the, the, the more nutrients it has. So that is why I normally recommend the, the purple onion rather, or the red onion rather than the whitish ones. I'm just going to add the cut shallots into the pan as well. Let it cook. Slightly. So while it's cooking some more, just cook it slightly more. I'm just going to also mix up the eggs as well. Like I said, I've got three eggs here. Just going to beat it up. So that's ready. Is that just olive oil that you use? That yes, I've used olive oil. You can you can use coconut oil as well if you wish. Yeah. But because I'm not really cooking on very high heat today, so olive oil is is very perfect. Yes. Uh, you can also add some vegetables in it as well. You know, like uh, carrots okay. if you want to cook it. And other vegetables as well. Like I've seen where people have added like peppers to it, you know, sweet peppers. It just gives well, tomatoes as well. You can add that. So it's basically no rule that, like I said, the, the main ingredients is the eggs, the onions, and the and the potatoes, and then the rest is totally up to you. Mm. It's really very versatile dish. So that's that. I'm gonna dish this out. So potatoes normally if you want to just test if it's as long as the the fork can actually just poke through yeah. quite easily then it's it's good basically. So I'm gonna dish this out, put it aside. Just one second. There we go. Put half of this aside. Because remember, I'm going to make this twice, so that's half there. I'm going to mix, put the rest into this, this dish itself. Um, got it the other way around. Added the vegetables to the egg. Yeah. Sorry, added the egg to the potatoes. Yes, yes. I've so tried that it that way, but it works better when you add the add it this way. So just give it a mix. Just put a bit more oil into this pan. I guess you you get more coverage 
for the egg as well. It's That's right, yeah. yes. Yeah, it just makes better. Because if you're gonna pour the egg onto the yes. thing, then sometimes the base is not is it, it's not covered. So yeah. so the oil is quite hot as well now. Or the pan is still quite hot. So I'm just gonna add the egg mixture down. Just spread it all out so it becomes like a pancake, circular pancake. And this is the bit you just have to be slightly patient and let it let it cook. Okay. So while we're here, I'm gonna also add the the spring onions on top so that it cooks. Just let that do. I'm gonna chop up more spring onions for the second batch. Oh, and I've also got uh, a green chili. I'm going to do the second batch with chili because, you know, some people, they like it spicy, some people, they don't. So I'm going to do two versions. Yeah. So with this egg, just ensure it cooks. So you've, you've kept the, the heat quite low, haven't you? Yeah, it's at about six, five to six on the, on the electric stove. If you're using a gas stove, then I would say about medium heat. You don't really want the base to burn as well. So again, spring onions, you don't really have to like overcook it or anything like that. So you just have to, it's more like a garnish as well. And the mint will be added as a, as a sort of like a topping later on once we serve it as well. Just remind our viewers of the ingredients for this amazing Spanish omelette. Um, we've, we've got six large, six large free-range eggs, sea salt per taste, one large pontiac potato, the red, two shallots, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika powder, handful of finely chopped spring onions and of course it can be served with fresh salad or bread. So it's on the screen right now you take a quick picture. Katrina, chef. Yes, hi. So we are just going to ensure the base doesn't stick to it so it makes it easier to, to flip over. I've got more of a challenge here because I'm not using a non-stick pan. Mm. Um, we don't really recommend non-stick because the coating in the non-stick pan is actually can be quite quite toxic. So we, we're using a stainless steel pipe pan. So you just have to turn it down slightly. Okay. You can see the top is still slightly moist. Whilst the bottom is slightly sticking to this pan, however, it's alright, we'll manage. That's amazing. You're very gentle with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's alright. This may break, but you know, it's, it's still an omelette, so you can enjoy it as well. The middle sometimes slightly sticks a bit more. Okay. All right, so what we'll do here is we will attempt to move this onto a plate. Let's see how it goes. Do you need some help, Chef? I'm alright. I'm yeah, right. okay. So, um, would it flip over or is it just a matter of sort of skewing? Yeah, it's slightly it's stuck to the pan right now, so it won't really flip over too great. But what I'm going to do is just break it up. Oh, and let's look at it. I'll try to get the second one to flip over properly. So, is it okay? 
it's okay that the the top of it's quite moist. That's quite moist. yeah. No, I'm actually gonna uh, oh, cook it, cook yeah. it again oh, okay. slightly. Yeah. So that's basically it. And what I was gonna do is just just flip it over. This pan. Right. Just switch back to the plate. So you actually cook cook the. Would the too much oil um, be a problem in this? Uh, no, no, it won't be because it's actually quite moist as well. So that's it, and we can basically serve it. What do you ideally serve it with, Katrina? Uh, you can serve it with salad, okay. salad, or you know some other uh, rice. Pasta, oh, if you want to, yeah. Mm. yeah. Anything really. Yeah. <laughs> up to you. Yeah. Good. We think. Well, I, I would think just bread. <laughs> just traditional. Yeah, bread, bread as well. Sauce. You could, you could have it like a salad as, as you know, like like a sandwich as well. Mm. So yeah. I'm just gonna put this here. What are these? Th these are carrots, which I've just chopped into fancy little bits here. Very nice. And yeah, let that. Let it cook slightly. Oh, that's off now. Just keep on. So you said that if you were to have, um, if you were to cook it with the six eggs in one go, it becomes very heavy. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's right. And yeah. You just can't get yeah. it over. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it doesn't doesn't hold. It's because of the, the potatoes is heavy. Right. Well, if it was a normal omelette, we just like like ingredients, then it would be great. Yeah. Right. So. Yep. So you just have to wait for the other side to cook a bit more, and then you can serve it. it smells amazing. Mm. So good. And I'll try to do one more with the, with the chili as well. Mm. So just be patient. Take a few seconds. What I'm gonna do is just add this the second egg mixture for the second omelet, and we've got here. Just stir it up. Would you ever add milk to it? Or is that uh, you can you can add a bit of milk to it if you want to as well. Yeah. And we'll just add the rest of the potatoes to it as well. Give it a mix. And this time like I said, I'm gonna add the chili to it as well. Okay. So this one, the first omelette is done. You can see. Oh, it's gonna serve it. Smells so good, Katrina. Well done. Pardon? It smells so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Very pretty. Yeah. So I guess if it if it didn't fall apart like this, then it will be coming up more like like a you know like a dish sure. that you can pick up. But it, it's fine as but well. But it's pretty like that. It looks. It is. Yeah. yeah. And you you can still enjoy it with you know with a fork or spoon. And so you'll be able to taste the potatoes, the mixture of the mixture of the eggs. And basically that's it. So that's your Spanish omelette done. Absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to try some of this, Trina. <laughs> okay, come over. <laughs> come over. Got a plate. Oh, it smells even better over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. It looks, I love the colours. It looks so vibrant. It looks so vibrant. Oh, yeah. Let me give a little taste. Mm. Amazing, Katrina. As always, you never fail to deliver. Thank you. <laughs> So healthy, mm. crunchy as well. Okay, love it. You can have it for your breakfast, lunch, or or dinner. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. And the carrots, the carrots underneath just adds a nice bite to it as well. Yeah, you could have it also with like lettuce leaves, you know, and any other vegetables as well. Okay, whilst I'm <laughs> munching on this, we'll watch this video and come straight back after this. I'm so like really, really nice. Shame it's so hot. Sorry? Shame it's so hot. No, 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 no. It looks pretty like that. Oh, 
Make this now. Please, All right, thank you. <laughs> That's good. You can taste everything. That's good. You can taste it all. Okay.
Got so many errands to make, but yes, I am done for the day. And I love this. No. It's a, a smiley cloud. It's a smiley Yeah, we'll get like one of the with the flowers. Yeah, maybe in the middle I'll <laughs> say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, Instagram page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Instagram page, just hash back if you need it. Yeah, yeah. You have to make it. I have to, of course. It's the shower, so I'll fix you. Thank 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 you.